which leads me to my last video clip, Monique. Okay. Somebody had the same foresight that most of us had about Trump, mm -hmm. a funny man. And if you if you don't know anything about comedians, ladies and gentlemen, comedians usually they're very political and they are able to articulate their politics through humor. And this person done that very well. He's one of my favorite comedians of all time. And we're going to cut to him. But before we do, don't forget to get your shirt at shoplifegains.com. <laughs> Convicted looks good on Trump. And if you don't like that one, we still got the B to the sixth. Bleach, blonde, bad, built, butch body. That's in there, too. Yeah. Next voice you're going to hear is my main man, Jim Carrey. Foretold what was going to happen when Trump got in office. Take a look at this. We have a president who started out when the country was together and had a wonderful leader, and he is tearing us limb from limb, well, destroying I, every institution. Let's, let's talk about this Donald Trump, even yeah. though we don't want to. Let's bring it on the panel. Yeah. He's I, a car salesman. He's a, a used he's a con, car salesman. Absolutely. And he's, you know, he, he, didn't, he didn't make America great again, but he did turn back the odometer. <laughs> so who knows what the hell is wrong with us? So that's the reason. Was that not great foresight? He, Donald Trump did that. He did. turned us back a couple of Ooh. years. Couple. And, <laughs> and now that the things that he put in place when he was in office, the seeds he placed have started to grow up. Yep. We're seeing all this bull job. Women's reproductive rights have been on attack. The Supreme Court basically said, hands up, don't shoot. We ain't said nothing. I'm we trying to tell y'all, this is... Yep. The, re the woman reproduct uh, reproduction stuff, when I tell you guys, it hits home. It hits home for me. I have a close friend who went through a traumatic incident. And by the grace of God, um, the doctor was kind enough to help her. She wrote on a note in the hospital, wrote on a note and slid it to her. And it basically said, you need to leave Georgia, get on a plane tomorrow, go to this state, go to this hospital, and they will be able to do said procedure for you. I'm trying to tell y'all, this hits home for me. So. I'm scared. I'm scared for myself. I want children. You guys don't understand how deep this really, how, how much they set us back. It's to the point where healthcare providers, you know, I have a background in healthcare. Lamont has a background in healthcare. It's to the point where healthcare providers are in turmoil internally because they, they, they took a, a oath right? To provide and help for their patients. But now they're dealing with the legal system. And that is by the grace of God, my friend had a doctor who cared enough to say, I'm going to risk my job and my license to make sure you are okay. And thank God for that doctor, my friend. It was still a very traumatic incident. She lost the child, but It's hard, you guys. It is hard. Like, it's really hard right now. We we really have taken steps back that I just I never thought I would actually be living to to witness. So, this is very crucial. And and that the reproductive thing that's only one thing on the Small big part. scale, but it mm -hmm. it's a huge thing on the scale. Okay, and it's affecting people that you guys don't even know it's affecting. Mm -hmm. well, please do your research. Please educate yourself, and and please do the right thing. Please do the right thing. Well Woo. said. Well said. Um, and it's scary. Um, and, and what if what if your friend didn't have the money to fly out? Because a lot of women don't That's have. What the I'm money saying. To fly. Well, she, but, but. she and her husband went on a flight the next. Morning. It was it was very it was a very traumatizing very traumatizing experience for her. Mm -hmm. Very and, traumatizing. I'll say this, even, even though even though I know some people would say, Lamont, it's too soon. Don't say it now. Uh -oh. I was in the forefront to this day when Trump was in his primaries. I bet a bunch of people that not only would he win the primaries, but if he won the primaries, he would be either neck and neck with Hillary Clinton or beat her. 
And guess what, Monique? People bet me real money that that wouldn't happen because they thought that they thought that Trump was such a far, such a such far right wing agenda that he would never make it. And yeah. To this day, Brad from the Brad and Brit podcast. If you're into politics, search Brad and Brit podcast on any podcast player. There are North Carolina political show that do left politics. Still yeah. owe me money, Brit. Excuse me. Still owe me money to this day because I had the foresight. To see that train coming. Yeah. To see that train coming. And Oof. now I'm 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 gonna give you the foresight that I see coming in this election. Uh oh. I am about 75% sure Joe Biden gonna win. 75. 75%. I'm about 75% Joe Biden is gonna win. Because I'm gonna tell you one thing. All we hear in the media is about how loud the MAGA people are talking and how the MAGA people in the, the states that we consider battleground states seem to be winning these polls over and over and over again. I'm here to tell you there are a whole lot of angry women that would normally vote Republican yeah. that side with issues of taking away their productive rights. They side with, right. I don't want a man to be basically telling me how to handle my ovaries that would normally vote Republican that ain't voting Republican because they know that if they do, they're going to continue to perpetuate what's been going on. And they also know that that Supreme Court is a problem because that is the very place that has gotten us to where we're at right now. Right. I'm here to tell you there are a lot of those women that ain't speaking in polls, that ain't running around carrying a, a Biden hat, t shirt, or bad or pledge sign. That is going to vote Democrat. I'm 75% sure of that. I'm in front of the curve. And I just hope that that comes to fruition. And can I just say something to you that why I kind of support what you just said? <laughs> in regards to the reproductive situation that we're facing, uh, my mm -hmm. friend, when it all happened and, and, and he realized why it was happening and the rules. And do you know what she told me? He said, what? he said, I'm never going to I'm never going to vote Republican ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a man. That's a man. Obviously, when you lose a child, it affects the woman and the man, right? That It affects right. both. It, it might affect differently. Men, men handle things differently than us, but it affected him. And when he realized the rules and the in the in the legal system and what the he was like, oh, I'm never voting Republican again. So I say that to support Lamont's uh stance in the sense of I do think because of I'm talking solely, not even everything else, solely because of the women's reproductive stuff. I'm hoping that a lot of women are going to vote a different way now because now right. something catastrophic is affecting them. Right. Personally, we might see a shift in voting. Yep. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, get involved. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to go hit up that shoplifegains.com. You can get that shirt. Or if you want to wear a positive shirt, go get the beast to the six power bleach blonde, bad built butch body shirt. Support our girl, Jasmine Crockett. <laughs> Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm out.